Hello programmers, I'm working in C and I have a do while loop and the do while loop goes through at least once before it checks the condition to see if it's true or false. As long as the condition's true, we'll go back through the do while loop. So here I'm starting out with x set to 6. We decrease it, it becomes 5. And this minus minus is the same thing as saying x is equal to x minus 1. We'll take away 1 from our 6, make it 5, print out 5 to the screen, and then we check is x, which has 5 in it, greater than 1. It is, so we go back up to the top of the do while, subtract another one, the 5 becomes 4, we'll print 4 to the screen, check again, and so our result is we print 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm going to add a little if statement in here. You can embed an if inside of a while or a do while or a for loop. And I'm gonna check if x is equivalent to equal signs to three. And I'm gonna say if it's equivalent to three, I am going to break out of this do while loop. And let me put a statement at the end here so we can show that we're out. So at the end, I'm just gonna say end. All right, this time I run it and we start our countdown the same way. We start at five, then we go to four, and then we reach the point where X is set to three and this break jumps out of that do while statement and we go down to the end of the program and it prints end. So a break statement will break out of that current loop. You can use this with a for loop, a while loop, or a do while loop. And I'm gonna replace this with the word continue and continue is similar to the break statement. Um, you put it inside of a loop, but instead of breaking all the way out, it takes you back up to the top of the loop. So it skips whatever happens after the word continue. So let's run this and see what happens. Our countdown still starts at five, then we get four. When we reach the point in time where X is set to three, continue jumps us back up to the top of the do while loop and it goes from three to two and then we print two and then it goes back to one and then we print one and then we're done. So the continue is allowing us to skip the print statement for the case where our x is exactly equal to three. So the reason I wanted to introduce break statements is because my next example um, has a break statement inside of it. And just to save some time, let me copy and paste that next example in here. My next example uses a switch. So a switch is kind of like an if and an else if and an else where we've got something that we're checking and here I'm going to use a status variable that's a char. It's a single character and I want the user to type in their tax filing status, H for head of household, S for single, or M for married, and I'll use scanf to read into that address and memory where that variable is stored. Um, and this part right here where I say switch status case S, that is the same as saying if the status is equal to S and capital S because it's case sensitive. So if the status is S, this is what we want to do. We want to print single. And we learned that break will jump out of a loop. Well, break also jumps out of the switch statement. So we would end up skipping that we don't even check if they're married or if they're head of household or if it's anything else. Um, so let's go ahead and run this. And I'm going to say, first I'll say S for single and then it prints single. So I went inside of this block of code and then I broke out. I run it again and I say M for married and it says it goes into the married case and then breaks out. I run it again. I'll say this time um, I'm just gonna pound on the keyboard and that is not going to match. Even though I did type in S accidentally as my first character, I did a lowercase s and my program's looking for uppercase s. So that is not going to match. So if it doesn't match any of these cases that you provided, the default is kind of like saying, exactly like saying else. So if nothing above match, then here's what you do. You print invalid status. But let me show you something really interesting about the switch case. If I were to comment out every single break statement, and really you would want these all to line up nicely, nice and neat. So if I comment out all three of those break statements and I run it again and I say S for single, 
one interesting point is not only does it go inside of this first case, but once we have a match there, it goes into every other case as well. So it prints married, single, head of household, and invalid status, all of those. And if I were to type in um, H for head of household, it skips the first two, it skips the single and married, it doesn't match those cases, but it matches head of household and there's no break, so it keeps on going inside the blocks and it prints invalid status. So one of those weird quirks with the switch statement that you have to watch out for.